he isn't this kid from Stockholm. He isn't the kid who went to school in Caribou. He isn't the kid from the county. He's from Maine. Mm -hmm. Look, I, it's just inspiring, I think, to, to see what he has done. He certainly had the determination, even, even when he was, uh, you know, in, in the eighth grade in high school. I remember him, you know, finding, wanting to know what other people did to be good at it. And, mm -hmm. and I remember him saying, well, if that's what I have to do, then, you know, he would get up at five o'clock in the morning, get down on the ski trail and ski before school. 90, 100 degrees, humid. You know, everybody's looking to stay in, under shade. He's right out there running. Or he, he mountain bike and roller ski. Mm -hmm. Rain. Anything. He, he would, we would use him as a role model. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to go out and ski with Russell and I want you to see how he does V1 left and V1 right. Mm -hmm. Or I want you to see how he does double pulling. And he would be our role model. Russell's very quiet, uh, very humble. It wasn't like, you know, here's my main winter sports emblem on my shirt. Mm -hmm. It is very unassuming, and uh, he worked hard both to be a good skier and to become a more, much more competent biathlete. Yeah. You know, it's hard. It didn't really even hit me until the next day. I mean, I knew it, and um, but it, it just seemed, I, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It was sort of like insulating myself from the feeling the first day. I just didn't, mm -hmm. I knew it, but it didn't really sink in, I don't think, until the next day, and then... Uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people around here just want to, they want to tell him and his folks how proud we are of his accomplishments, his achievements.